Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to calculate this integral. This is integration by using partial fractions. Many students feel difficult while integrating using partial fractions. To avoid the difficulty, I divided these problems into four types. This is type 1 problem. By seeing the problem, you need to identify it comes under which type. You see how to identify a problem comes under type 1. You see here two conditions are there. What is the first condition? Degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. Here you observe degree of numerator is what? x power 1 is there. Degree of numerator is 1. Clear? What is degree of denominator? After multiplying these two things, you will get x square term. That means degree of denominator is 2. Degree of numerator is 1. Degree of denominator is 2. That means degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. It is satisfied by first condition. Okay. Second condition. Denominator contains non-repeated linear factors. Linear factors means x plus 1 x minus 1, 2x plus 3, all those are linear factors whose degree is 1. Here, x plus 1 whose degree is 1, x plus 1 is a linear factor, x plus 2 is a linear factor and x plus 1 is repeated anywhere in the denominator? No, that means x plus 1 is a non-repeated linear factor, x plus 2 degree is 1 and it is not repeated anywhere in the denominator, so it is a non-repeated linear factor. So, we identified by seeing the problem, it comes under type 1. Once you identified it comes under type 1, next important point is, you need to know how to write type 1 rational function. This is rational function because it is of the form f of x by g of x. How to write rational function into partial fractions? It is very easy in type 1. In type 1, the rational function will be written into partial fractions like this. x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. We will write it as a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 2. It is important point. You must know how to write rational function into partial fractions into type 1. In type 1 only, we will write rational function into partial fractions like this. Now, our main intention is to find the values of a and b. x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to here LCM is what? LCM is x plus 1 into x plus 2. What you will get in the numerator? In the numerator, you will get a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Okay? So here, this x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 2 will get cancelled. Then what is remaining here? Here, what you will get in x equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Our main intention is to find the values of a and b. Here, this equation is true for all real numbers. What I will do here to get the values of a and b, I will take few real numbers which are very easy to get the values of a and b. See, put x equal to, if I need a value, I'll make this b term 0. If I take x equal to minus 1, take x equal to minus 1, what happens here? This b term will become 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0 now. Then I'll get the value of a. So, put x equal to minus 1 in this equation. What happens here? Here, in place of x, you write minus 1. Minus 1 equal to a into uh, yes minus 1 plus 2 okay so plus uh, b term will become 0 b into 0 is 0 only okay so minus 1 equal to a into minus 1 plus 2 is 1 okay so from this we will get a what is a a equal to minus 1 actually our main intention is to find the values of a and b we calculated a value now, I need b value. To get the value of b, I want to make this a term 0. So, by taking what value of x, a term will become 0. Yes, x equal to minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 will become 0 now. So, 
in this equation put x equal to minus 2 here in place of x you write minus 2 equal to here a term will become 0 equal to b into minus 2 plus 1 good so minus 2 equal to b into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so what is b b equal to i'll substitute this a value b value in this equation 1 substitute what you will get uh, x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 you observe equation 1 in this equation in place of a i'll write minus 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus in place of b i'll write 2 2 divided by x plus 2 what you came to know in this part this rational function x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 can be written into partial fractions like this if you simplify this again you will get this rational function only i hope you are understanding now you observe the question in place of in place of x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 i can write this expression I write it minus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus 2 divided by x plus 2 dx now i need to integrate this how we integrate this i integrate each and every term while integrating this expression here minus is constant now i can write it outside the integral like this minus integral of 1 divided by x plus 1 into dx plus integral of this term integral of this term while integrating this term you can observe here 2 is constant we can write it outside the integral like this 2 into integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 dx i hope you are understanding okay that equal to minus integral of this expression we learn this formula in integration by substitution integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx what is the formula the formula is log mod f of x plus here what is the derivative of x plus 1 yes derivative of x plus 1 how we differentiate derivative of x plus derivative of 1 derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 1 is 0 so derivative of x plus 1 is 1 so here you observe numerator is the derivative of denominator that means this integral is of this form what is its answer log mod f of x f of x means denominator what is denominator x plus 1 okay plus 2 into what is the derivative of x plus 2 derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 2 is 0 that means derivative of x plus 2 is 1 only so numerator is the derivative of denominator so we can apply this formula apply this formula what you will get you will get log mod x plus 2 as integration is over i'll write integral constant plus c you can stop this problem here or if you want one more simplification step you can write minus log mod x plus 1 plus you know this formula logarithm of a power m in logarithm chapter logarithm of a power m can be written as m into log a here it is like m into log a form m into log a m into log a can be written as logarithm of a power m so logarithm of a power m x plus 2 whole square okay and we know that uh, in logarithms only this formula we use very frequently log m minus log n equal to log m divided by n here i'll treat this as m log m minus log n what is log m minus log n log m by n here m is x plus 2 whole square divided by x plus 1 plus c that's it what important here by seeing the problem you need to identify it comes under it comes under which type once you identified it comes under which type you need to know how to write that rational function into partial fractions further procedure is as usual